We spent 10 days and nights aboard our Boston Whaler 285 Conquest, touring the Florida Keys from Pompano Beach to Key West and back. We stayed in no hotels. We didn't stay in houses. We only stayed on our boat for the whole 10 days. This is our 10 day trip. And these are our adventures aboard Amphitious. Day 6 of 10, Pompano Beach to Key West and back. Hey, good morning. It is day 6. We arrived at Marathon. We're staying at the Barra Blanca Resort and Yacht Club. Uh, we didn't catch any fish yesterday. We caught a bunch of seaweed. Uh, we lost sonar, but I got it fixed this morning. Or actually, rather, I fixed it this morning. <laughs> um, and so we're ready to go now. We may go do some snorkeling, maybe some free diving, uh, spear fishing. Um, and then this afternoon, if it's not too bad, we may hit the humps and hopefully uh, catch that tuna that's been elusive. Uh, for those of you who don't know, this is my wife, Kristen, and uh, she decided to finally jump in on a video. Uh, but you probably don't know my name because I still haven't said it yet. So we'll just leave that a secret if you don't know who I am. Anyway, uh, thank everyone for following along. We'll try to keep you updated. This is day six of 10 from Pompano to Key West and back to Pompano. And we're out. Day 7 of 10, Pompano Beach to Key West and back. Hello everyone, it's day 7 of 10 on our trip aboard our Boston Whaler 2A5 Conquest, properly named Ambitious. Uh, we departed Pompano Beach on Friday, uh, made it out to Key West, now worked our way back to Marathon, we're, we're now on day 7, so I think this was our last night at Marathon, and then tomorrow it's on to Tavernier. Um, fishing's been a little rough with the winds and uh, a lot of seaweed, so we're in the Gulf today. Uh, we're in, presently in about seven foot of water, and so we're going to see if we can catch something here in much calmer waters today. Uh, but other than that, that's pretty much the updates. It's just boat life. Uh, I will say that I'm, I'm pretty impressed with my ladies because we still haven't stayed in a hotel yet. Um, so that's been six nights so far aboard this 28 foot boat. So a little cramped, but uh, seems to be working out pretty well. Anyway, that's our update for today. We will post a lot of pictures and videos once we get back to land for sure and have better access and all that fun stuff. So anyway, hope everyone has a great day. All right, let's hold on. Crazy woman driving. Yep, hold on. Day 8 of 10, Pompano Beach to Key West and back. Hey, good morning. It's day 8 aboard Amphitious. Day 8 of 10 on our trip from Pompano Beach to Key West and back. 
uh, staying only on our boat. And uh, so we're in Marathon this morning. Uh, we're about to head to Tavernier for a few days. Uh, we'll probably go off to the reefs, do a little bit of snorkeling, maybe some spear fishing before we head over to the no spear fishing zone. But I wanted to give you guys a little bit of a quick tour this morning. i uh, show you guys how we do breakfast on the boat. Uh, we've got these little towels up because it's a little bit hot today. Uh, this morning, but uh, here we are cooking breakfast. So actually, uh, Kristen's cooking breakfast here, and usually we would cook out there. But man, it's cooking today, so I think we're not going to do that. We'll just put some towels up. Yeah, we just improvise. Get us a little shade going here. Open up the hatch so the AC comes up, and uh, we'll manage. We're about to get our eggs and bacon. And do you order anything else, Munchkin? Eggs, bacon, and toast. Oh, and toast. <laughs> All right. Well, everyone. We'll see you guys on day nine. Peace out.
Day 9 of 10, Pompano Beach to Key West and back. All right, so it's day nine. We're a little bit late on our update today. Uh, we actually left Tavernier this morning and went back south towards Marathon, actually outside of Longkey. Longkey, yes, yeah. Long Boat. It was a short key, but I think they call it Longkey. Uh, but anyway, we went off side out, off the coast there, did a little bit of snorkeling, some spear fishing, uh, a lot of hogfish, uh, but they were all too small. I saw one grouper and got a shot, but missed him, so that's on me. Um, but then we decided to not stay at the marina that we stayed at last night, uh, Mosquito Bay. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> totally, totally kidding. It was called uh, Mangrove, Mangrove Marina. Yeah, not for us. <laughs> anyway, so we're actually going to rough it tonight and stay at Elliott Key, uh, which is a national park, has a restroom and a shower. Uh, but that's it. No electricity, no nothing, which we have a generator, so we're cool. Um, and then tomorrow is Father's Day. Happy Father's Day, all you dads out there and you mom and dads too. Um, and so tomorrow, we'll figure out what we're going to do tomorrow. But tomorrow's day 10, the final day, and that's the final leg of our excursion. So hope everyone's having a great day. And I think we're out. You think? Nope, that's it. All right, we're out. Bye. Day 10 of 10, Pompano Beach to Key West and back. This is the last day. Alright, well it's our day 10 of 10 uh, update. Uh, we made it back to our home port, uh, so we're back in Pompano Beach. Uh, we spent the night last night in Boca Chita Key, woke up about 7 o'clock this morning and uh, the no seams and mosquitoes were just too much to handle. So we went ahead and got out of there early and then headed offshore for a little bit of trolling. Uh, I was rewarded with a Father's Day mahi, so I'll post some pictures and videos of that a little bit later on. Uh, but just wanted to give everybody an update. We are back home safely. Uh, Kristen and Ari are now going to the house to take the first load back and pick the truck up, bring it back so we can get this machine all cleaned up and unpacked. Um, I gotta tell you, that was a pretty interesting adventure to spend 10 days on that, especially bouncing around the keys and checking those out. Um, there's a lot of things we figured out that we won't do next time, and a lot of things we figured that we uh, did right and a lot of things we'll do next time that we didn't do this time so one of the biggest things I think is we way overpacked so uh, but outside of that um, we probably could last another 10 days out there but uh, sleeping was getting a little bit rough but anyway just want to give everybody an update that concludes our trip thank you for watching 10 days on a 28 foot boat from Pompano Beach to Key West and back please make sure you subscribe so you'll be notified as future videos are released once again thank you for watching Hope to see you again in the future.